It was very chilly Thursday afternoon and evening throughout southern New England, with wind chill values down in the 20s and lower 30s. Arctic atmosphere has once more invaded New England for early April, not quite as chilly as it was two decades back when there were four challenging slips early in the month, but it is still quite chilly. We not only have the cold weather now but we'll have a little bit of snow to contend with Friday morning. This is not a major system by any means, but it just gets into all of our collective psyches that we'll have to see snow falling. When you get up Friday morning, it should be cloudy, but I don't expect any precipitation. Just after the morning commute, there will be a burst of snow, followed by rain. I'd expect anywhere from no accumulation up to an inch on the grassy surfaces. Temperatures Friday will remain in the 40s, quite a bit below normal. Friday's snow will come on the heels of a very chilly night Thursday, with readings 10 degrees below average. I expect some places Friday morning to be in the lower 20s, which is certainly a hard freeze. From COD weather, a burst of snow and rain is forecast to move into the region during the mid to late morning Friday. There was some concern about additional snow Saturday, but the computer guidance currently is keeping the system to our south, which means just a rather cloudy day and below normal temperatures. Look for highs only in the mid-40s. The chill continues into Sunday, but at least we'll have more in the way of sunshine, which is quite strong this time of the year. The time between sunrise and sunset is now about 13 hours and will quickly go to 14 hours over the next few weeks. Obviously, our cold and active pattern from March is still continuing, but I do see somewhat of an end inside next week. Before that happens, however, we will have to go through one more nor'easter Tuesday. This system is likely to bring a cold rain or some wet snow to southern New England. Presently, I would say accumulation will be on the lighter side on the coastline because of where we are in April. It's very difficult for Boston to see significant snow this time of the year, although as you get west of Route 128 there's been plowable snow as late as May some years. The chart below shows the biggest snow totals from April 10 through the end of the snow season. Interestingly, for some towns, the most snow they have ever seen in the final part of winter came quite late. These scenarios are incredibly rare and highly unlikely, though. Next week, we should start to see a transition closer to average April readings. However, the shift may come quite slowly, and we will have to be patient. Looking further out into the future, it's looking like we will not have to worry about extreme heat for this year's Boston Marathon. Get news as it happens. Sign up for Boston.com's email news alerts. <laughs>